So we're gonna have a problem here real quick. We've gotta start seeds real soon and we're gonna run out of room fast. So we need to do something about it. These two greenhouses are great and that's what we use to germinate our seeds in primarily. But once the seeds are all started and grown up, we need to up pot them. What do we do with them then? The last few years, we've had all of our starts out in the kitchen. We've had this big window, we get some natural light in, which is great. We use our grow lights, which is great. But we quickly run out of room. And that's not the only problem. Yes, you've seen it, we got cats. And not only do we have cats, we have four cats. Three of the cats are pretty young, so they've got a lot of energy and they're very curious. So they wanted to see what was in these greenhouses. They've already got in here down at the bottom one. So I'm not gonna trust setting any plants out in the kitchen like I've done in the past. This year, we're gonna have to do something different, but I've got a plan. All right, let's go show you my plan. So you might recognize this area from our latest reverse osmosis video that I shot down here. But we have a small area in the back of our basement that I'm gonna use as a makeshift greenhouse this year. See, what my plan is, is to make a small wall that hopefully the cats can't scale. I'm not sure if it's gonna work yet or not. I may have to butter up these walls so they won't be able to climb up them. But regardless, I'm gonna show you what we're doing here. I'm gonna start working on this wall. I'm gonna explain it as I go. I'm gonna show you guys when this is completed of how useful this small space in an otherwise unused area of the house is gonna be for all of our garden and seed starting needs this year. This small space is invaluable for us to be able to start seeds, germinate seeds, and get our seeds ready for our garden this spring. I don't typically like to build like this. Usually when I build something, I wanna make sure that it lasts for a long time. But in this case, I'm actually planning on tearing it down right after the spring. My long-term plan is to not have a small greenhouse in my basement, but rather something more permanent outside. But that's gonna be a video for a different day. Right now, there's too much snow out there and I'm not prepared to be able to build something outside right now. We're gonna put up a temporary structure down here it's something that I can easily take down. Also, I don't wanna spend a lot of money on this, so I actually just grabbed scraps that I had out in the pole barn. This is costing me zero, which is exactly what I wanted. All this is is a cat deterrent. So this might not look the prettiest, but we're gonna take the functionality of it and go with it. All right, let's go build ourselves a wall. buggers let me tell you i do love having them cats around because with four cats running around the house and three of them pretty young they got a lot of energy and i haven't had a mouse in there in a long time so i am completely fine with having a few cats laying around we're gonna go cut a couple two by fours i got stashed out here and we're gonna get to building boy it's kind of a nice day out today too i just cracked open the barn it's a lot chillier in the barn than it is outside this sun is really heating things up. So I'm guessing we're getting a pretty good sap run right about now. We need a few more of them. We got our windows down, driving down the 405, sing along to the radio. So make sure that you don't miss out, just be there We're taking our shot, bring what you got We're going all the way to the top We will hear the sound of one million people Screaming our names when we're backstage We're playing loud, surfing the crowd Everybody's jumping around Yeah, that's the place where I wanna be Going on stage headline
All right, we got all our wood cut. We're just gonna take it downstairs and screw this baby together. All right, guys, we're just gonna scab our few boards together here. I just got a little one foot board here. I'm gonna scab these two two by fours together and join them up. It's gonna be real easy. We're gonna drill, drill our pilot holes here. Just a couple screws in each one. This is not going to be permanent, like I said, so we're just slapping this together. scabbed on two by four here. I'm gonna pile it the other side right here so we can put our stringers in right here. I'll show you guys. Corners here and our end stringers. We're just gonna screw these together. Ouch! Splinter! And not of the sewer rat variety. Ten points if anybody knows who Splinter was. Drive this guy home, it looks like. Yeah, that'll be good enough for the girls I go out with today. All right, that's the rectangle of it right there, guys. I've got one stringer in the middle. I just measured right in the middle. I'm gonna drill two pilot holes on each end, screw this together, and stand it up. I got nine by 25 screws with a T25 Torx bit. All right, we're gonna raise this wall up and uh, make sure it fits. So we wanna make sure we're underneath our beam here. And I have a piece of duct work on this side. We wanna make sure we're underneath that as well. Oh, Look at that. That's what we want right there, fellas. This is the absolute worst wall I have ever made in my entire life. But it's the fastest wall I've ever made in my entire life as well. So it's up. I'm not even gonna show you because it's probably not straight, but I just threw one quick little screw here. I threw another one in there uh, just so it wouldn't fall over. All it's for is cats, guys. We're not making a, you know, bulletproof structure here. So cat deterrent, keep this in mind. Real quick, we're gonna throw on our, I got a couple pieces of lue on here and a piece of small thin gauge OSB. We're just gonna sheet this real quick. Nothing fancy, I'm gonna put like two screws in each one.
All right, guys, we got some sheeting up here on this wall. And let me tell you, this is like a hobo wall on the downtown area of downtown, let me tell you. I think this is the worst project I've ever made, looks wise. Functionality is gonna work great. So we need now to figure out what we're gonna do for a door right here. So we need to make a door so we can get in. I do have the top open up here. Um, I'm hoping a cat is not gonna jump up there. I do have some spider cats and they do like to jump. So we're gonna test it for a night and see how it works. So let's go out and figure out this door situation. So, I don't feel like going and getting out a whole bunch of uh, equipment for this, you know, like, like saw horses. So we're just going to use the bed of my pickup truck real quick and cut this uh, piece of OSB down to size. I just want to make sure we got a 4x8 sheet here and I'm just cutting it down. Right now we're just going to cut this door and get everything else ready to go. I know I should use the chalk line, but it's no big deal. I had the straight edge two by four here. And I got to cut it down anyways. four up here and I do have my door down here but it's the slider version right now because I actually looked upstairs in the pole barn I thought I had an extra set of hinges I did not don't worry I'll pick some up at the hardware tomorrow and we'll put hinges on this door quick but for tonight it's gonna be just fine we're just gonna slide it put something on, on the bottom here so the cats can't dig at it and pull it out it'll be good for tonight we're gonna start rearranging down here and we're gonna take you along So we're just getting our lights set up here and our shelving set up and our table set up. I want to show you guys this right here real quick. These are four foot arena grow lights and we've got a pack of six of them here and I'm just starting to uh, assemble them. Uh, I just want to show you quick, they have a couple different, couple different ways that you can hang these and with my metal racks, we're just gonna hang them off the metal rack here. They have a clip and a zip tie, and that seems to work pretty good because then you can, you know, just kind of adjust it too. So see the, you just throw the zip tie right through the hook. The clip attaches to the light. The zip tie goes through the clip. You zip tie it to your metal shelving. It's super easy, guys. They do have a few other options. There's a couple different clips, and they have these sticky backs here, so you can just stick them right to something. Um, so they have a few different mounting options, which is really nice. I'll make sure to link down below all the items that we're using for our seed starts this year. We've got racks, we've got grow lights, we've got containers, we've got different kinds of seed. We've got a thousand things we're going to show you guys. So we're getting stuff set up right now. And Candace is over here just rearranging our greenhouses. We're going to pretty much use these just for germination. And then once they get germinated, we're going to move them over to the shelves here. And then we've got a couple tables here and here that we can use for potting up and uh, just getting the seed starts going. We're going to have our dirt and our uh, 72 cell trays down here. So we're just getting everything set up. We may move some of this around. Not sure this is going to be the exact home of all these shelves or not. But this is where we're going to start with it and you know, just kind of kind of move it around where we need to. 
We've got a, a couple fans here. I got a fan up in this corner going. I'm going to have this fan up here going. And I've got two more fans that are similar in size to this one. We're going to have blowing down here as well. So that's pretty much it. This is how you guys can take a small corner of your basement and turn it into a fabulous seed starting and growing place. So if you guys like how this is done, you won't believe what I've got coming up for you next. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.